guys, welcome back to my channel and another swatch interview. Today I'm really excited because I have swatches of the Sally Hansen by Sesame Street collection. And I'm gonna be honest, I know that like this is how I do every single thumbnail where I'm like holding up the entire collection. I just really like to show off to everybody, like it's a huge flex for me how many things I can fit into one hand. I don't know why, I just like to be like, look, I can fit this many polishes in my hand. So anyways, yeah. So I picked this up at Ulta. From what I could find, it is a limited edition Ulta exclusive, or maybe only one of the polishes in an Ulta exclusive. I was having a hard time finding information, but it is a nine piece like rainbow collection and it has a few different finishes. They have these little two packs where you can get like a couple polishes. As you can see, I had to do that. They have a four pack, which has like red, yellow, blue, and green in it. And I'll pop up a picture. I had to buy mine in a weird way because they had all the one-offs, but some of them were sold out. So I had to buy two of the two packs and then buy the rest as singles. And I wish that I didn't have to do it that way because this is odd. So the two packs of polishes are $6.99 each. And then the individual polishes were also $6.99 each. So two for the price of one in the two pack. I, I don't know. I just felt like that was kind of a rib. But I was going to buy this collection no matter what because I love Sesame Street. As a child, I watched so much Sesame Street. As an adult, when I'm feeling really sad about not being a child anymore, sometimes I go on YouTube and I watch clips from Sesame Street. Like, I, I just really loved that show growing up. My favorite was probably Oscar the Grouch or Bert and Ernie. Like I, Oscar and his worms love the worms and his trash can. And then I just like the weird dynamic between Bert and Ernie where it's like Bert is this uptight paperclip collecting kind of guy, which I feel like I feel like I'm Bert inside. Like I, I guess I'm I'm a real Bert energy. And then Ernie is his like hectic, chaotic roommate. They were roommates. And they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. Um yeah, I, I liked those guys a lot. My sister was a big cookie monster fiend, and then my brother really liked Elmo and Grover. So let me know down in the comments, who was your favorite Sesame Street character growing up? Because I feel like it really defines you as a person. Like, I'm definitely trash mode Bert. You know, I'm Oscar the Grouch, but I'm also Bert. So I feel like that really does embody who I grew into be. <laughs> So let's get into the live swatches. I'll show you the full hand swatches as well. And then at the end, as per usual, I'll tell you about my favorites. I will ramble on about my thoughts and my feelings on the collection and we'll go from there. So first up we have all of the creams. This is the Snuffleupagus polish and this one is called Up to Snuff. It is that kind of sweet potato yam kind of color. It's like a nice Thanksgiving dinner orange, if you know what I mean. And all of these creams build up really nicely in two coats. Most of the darker colors seem to be almost like one coat coverage. And these brushes are so much better than the other Sally Hansen Insta Dries that I have bought. Usually the brushes are like cut on a weird angle, but these are very rounded. This is the Cookie Monster polish. It's called C is for color. And I want to call this a mid-tone blue as if I know what I'm talking about. If this isn't a mid-tone blue, then I don't know what a mid-tone blue is. But as you can see, again, two coat coverage, almost one depending on your application. And here is the full hand swatch. I love the little cookie monster on the bottle. This one is called Turquesa Briante, and I don't know who this character is, but I love the color. I, I Is this like a later edition Maybe for like younger people out there, if you know, please let me know. Uh, but this is that perfect kind of Tiffany Robin's egg type blue. Little streaky on the first coat, but second coat, you can't tell a thing happened there and it's precious. This one is called One Polish, ah, ah, ah. And this is the count, love the count. And this color is just dead on for the Count's skin color. It is not a purple that I would typically buy myself, but because it is inspired by the Count, I love it. And now it's kind of making me rethink how I feel about this color because I never realized like this is the Count's skin tone. 
This is the only shimmer in this collection. It's called Am I Not Adora Blue? And this is the Grover polish. My little brother used to love Super Grover, if you guys remember that. And he had a tiny Grover doll that he would, for some reason, soak in water and then put in the freezer <laughs> and then throw at us. But this one is really pretty. I love that stark pink shimmer shining with the blue. I love a pink and a blue. This is Scram, the only metallic in the collection, and this is the Oscar the Grouch polish. This one's my jam. It is that kind of like foily metallic look, but I love Oscar the Grouch. I love his little worms. I, I don't know, I just, I'm very nostalgic for Sesame Street right now. Perfect color, and I feel like the finish goes along with it really well, really captures the character. Now we're into the toppers. I'm missing one of the toppers. This one is Elmo Loves Hugh, and it's kind of this like creepy little hair astroturf. Uh, the swatches I'm showing you, live swatches, are one coat. The full hand swatches are going to be two coats. Uh, but the one I'm missing, I couldn't find. It's like a Walgreens exclusive. I checked four Walgreens, couldn't find it. This is Think Big, and this is obviously the Big Bird polish. My brush is a little bit wonky on this one. I just got to go and trim the edge of it. But as you can see, if you work it around a little bit, you can evenly distribute those bar glitters. I do feel like a uh, one swipe doesn't really evenly distribute. You do kind of have to play around with it a bit. And then this is my favorite of the creepy little bar glitter boys. This is Perfect Blend Ship, and this is the Burt and Ernie polish. I love that they got a joined polish. They are the best of friends. And the colors, they're so vintage and washed out and nostalgic. I love this so much. It's so cute. So what did you guys think about this collection? I am by. I gotta up front say like I'm biased because I, it's nostalgia bait for me for sure. Uh, I looked it up and there are over 4,600 episodes of Sesame Street. Can you guys believe it? Like that's insane that this show has been going on for this long. So like I said at the beginning, I did pick these up at Ulta. I bought these all myself. Uh, funny story. I think I mentioned at the end of a haul that my mom was actually the one who told me that these were coming out. She had seen them in an Ulta mailer and she sent me a picture and was like, have you seen this? And I was, mildly offended that she knew about that before me because that woman asked me like a couple months ago if I had ever heard of the brand Essie. I was like, girl, yes, like, what do you think I do? But yeah, so she was excited about it. I was excited about it. And she like a couple days later was like, I couldn't help myself. I went and I picked you up a couple and I was like, oh, cool. I had to run to Ulta the other day to pick up some shampoo. And I was, I texted my mom. I was like, hey, which ones did you get me? so that I can pick up the rest because I want the whole collection. And she sent me this photo. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll get them all. Don't worry. <laughs> I was like, girl, you're the one who told me that it was Sally Hansen. And she bought the, chi I didn't even know they still sold the China Glaze ones. So, but it's a thought that counts. She tried, it was an approximation. We were almost there. But I thought that was really funny. So first of all, one thing I absolutely love about the Sally Hansen collaborations is after they started doing the caps in the color to match the polish, they stopped doing those annoying plastic rippy off overlays and they started printing directly onto the cap. And so you have these cute little custom Sesame Street caps. They all have the Sesame Street logo on the top. They have a sticker that tells you the name of the polish, and it also has the character that it's based off of. And the same thing goes for the front of the bottle. They all have a little character icon of the character that the polish is based off of. So every single bottle is a little bit different. You know, they all have a different character on them, and I love that. That's such a cute little touch. I also love that it's like a full rainbow. Usually I feel like Rainbow collections are very easy and it's like such an easy thing to fall back on. But in the case of Sesame Street, which was a very colorful part of my childhood and it's like a very all encompassing and diverse show, like having the rainbow is definitely, I feel like on point, you know? The names are cute and they tie into each character really well. I appreciate when 
You know, because I feel like stuff like this, it's often baiting people like me where they rely heavily on nostalgia to carry them through life. <laughs> and so I find it really nice when, even though it's, you know, playing on nostalgia, there's still effort put into it because sometimes you see these like nostalgia bait IP collaborations where it's like, oh, we slapped a name on it and that's all we had to do. I feel like they did a good job in pairing the colors and the naming conventions and even the finishes with the characters they embody. Like, okay, one polish, ah, ah, ah. And this color, this is perfect because the China Glaze Count polish, sucked. I was so mad about it. Um, but this one is really like the perfect color. And I gotta tell you something. I felt like so like my brain wasn't working because I, that one came in like this little duo here and you know, it's like, Oh, it's think big. And then this one says like one polish. Ah, ah, ah. And I was just like, why are they telling me it's one polish? Like I, I see the name here, but why are they saying this is one polish, but this one doesn't say one polish. I didn't realize that was like the full name. And then I was like, oh yeah, he counts things. Like that's his whole shtick. I don't know, my brain was not working. It's never working to be quite honest. I've had a headache for like a week. So I just, I'm giving up. There are four separate finishes across this collection. Uh, my favorite finish is this weird, like, I can't call it anything but a hair finish. Like, it just looks like little hairs. So the Big Bird Polish, the Elmo Polish, and the Burton Ernie Polish are like these weird, fine little hairs. It reminds me of the, um, like, AstroTurf kind of a texture. It's like the finest little bar glitter. Some people really hate this finish. They don't really like the way it, like, looks because it kind of makes their skin crawl. I like it because it's creepy. So... This is definitely like a fave. And honestly, I think my favorite is probably the Burt and Ernie polish just because it's it's the colors of their shirts. And I feel like they encapsulated it perfectly. And like the bar glitter, it's just great. And then, you know, Elmo being in the bar glitter formula, it's perfect because he's like a free little guy. And I guess Big Bird kind of makes sense too because, you know, feathers. So I liked the the weird little bar glitter formula. Then we just have like plain cream, which, you know, it's not like the most exciting thing, but it still works. So we have Count, Cookie Monster. Um, I don't know this girl. She's like turquoise, but I, I don't remember her. And then Snuffy, Snuffleupagus. Um, so we have those four creams and they are all, they all are uh, like spot on colors with their character. This girl, isn't she the one that's got like the rock? who was like annoying Elmo with Rocco. I feel like she was like a, a later addition to the crew, but maybe, maybe I just never paid attention. They have their metallic formula and this is the Oscar the Grouch one called Scram. So naturally I love this. This is my other favorite. These two are to die for. And this is the only metallic in the collection. This one, I have a bunch of their Crayola. I have all of the Crayola ones that they did and they did a metallic Crayola crayon collection and they were all in this formula. So I think this is a pretty good formula. Um, it's not like the liquid looking metallic where it's like hyper reflective in that way. It's more like the like foily type of metallic look. So that's pretty cool. It kind of like, it's kind of the perfect fusion of the green of him and then like the metal of his trash can. So, you know, perfect. And then the Grover polish has like a iridescent shimmer running through it. And this is the only one in this formula as well. I really like this. It's really, really pretty. I'm just a sucker for shimmer though. So, I mean, what can you do? And then for some reason, like this, this one is paired with their quick dry top coat. So I ended up with a quick dry top coat because they were sold out of the individuals of the Burton Ernie Perfect Blend Ship Polish. So I had to buy it in the duo. So I had to get this stinking top coat that I don't need because I just did a declutter on all my top coats. So either I'm gonna try this out just to try it out or maybe I'll just give it away because I don't know, I don't need, do I really need more top coats? No, probably not, but I haven't tried the Sally Hansen top coat. I can't imagine it's like spades above what I'm using. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll give it away untouched. 
But yeah, that is the Sally Hansen Sesame Street collection. Don't act like you're not impressed so I can fit all these in my hand. I feel like, you know the joke of like the the boy at church who carries all the chairs to impress the girls? Like that's how I feel with all the nail polish. Are you girls impressed? Do you like how many nail polishes I can hold in my hand? I don't know. I do. Uh, <laughs> I need to go do something else. I'm like losing my mind. Uh, yeah, so that is the collection. I'm so glad that my mom texted me to tell me about it because I haven't been in Ulta in forever. So I feel like I would have missed this. And I'm so glad I have it. It's so cute. Sally Hansen, they make it way too easy. They could pair up with any IP that I like. And because their price point is low enough, I will buy the whole collection in one go. This whole collection cost me what? $55.57 because I had a $3.50 off coupon. Uh, I, it's a lot to pay, you know, at, in one go for a bunch of nail polish, but at the same time, it's also not the most I've ever paid in one go for nail polish. I, by the time you're seeing this, I will have just gotten back from Polish and Beauty Expo. So I, it's definitely not the most I've ever spent on nail polish in one go. But yeah, let me know down below if you're going to pick any of these up. And like I said at the beginning, let me know who your favorite Sesame Street character was as a kid or your favorite Sesame Street bit or anything like that. Because, man, I just am feeling so nostalgic. I used to love the dogs that they would have like in human clothes and then like real people hands like coming up to do things. So it was just like the dog's head doing stuff. I don't know. That was such a weird bit. I haven't seen Sesame Street in so long. I'm going to go watch Sesame Street. <laughs> I think it's on HBO Max now. Which kind of defeats the purpose of Sesame Street, because isn't it supposed to be like public access? Okay. All right, I'm going to stop now. So yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.